Hello, you may call me Bhikkhu Ananda and I'm going to be your guide for a very quick overview of what Buddhists in general believe. Even though there is a lot of difference between the different schools of Buddhism, there are certain formulas that we all tend to hold to. We are going to look at four of those. The Three Jewels, the Four Noble Truths, the Noble Eightfold Path, and the Five, Eight, or Ten Precepts. The Three Jewels, or Three Refuges, are as close as Buddhism comes to having a central creed. First, there is the Buddha. I seek refuge in the Buddha. The Buddha is the teacher, the example, and the Tathagata, the one who shows the way. Then there is the way, the Dharma. I seek refuge in the Dharma. This term refers to all of the Buddhist teaching which will lead to enlightenment. There is the community. I seek refuge in the Sangha. Whether it is the order of monks, the Sangha, as supported by lay people in Theravada, or the entire universe of sentient beings in Mahayana, you are not alone. Regardless of where you are on your spiritual path, there is someone who will support you. A good place to go next would be the Four Noble Truths. This is what the Buddha taught in his first sermon in the deer park of Benares. Number one, to live is to suffer. This is something you can't just talk your way out of. As long as we exist, we're bound to endure some pains, frustrations, and grief. Two, suffering is caused by desire. In this context, desire does not just mean wanting something or willing or intending something, it means to cling to something that will give way. All things in the universe are impermanent, including ourselves, and as long as we try to hold on to something that is definitely going to disappear, we are bound to suffer. Are you staking your happiness on having good health, making a material fortune, always having your loved ones around, worse yet, never dying? I guarantee you that all those things will pass away sooner rather than later. 3. It follows from that reality that we need to let go. We have to stop clinging to impermanent things. So the key to eliminating suffering lies in eliminating desire in the sense of attaching yourself to anything in the world, whether it be something material or an experience. But for how can one overcome one's attachments to the world? It's not easy, but the Buddha prescribed a way to follow. It is called the Noble Eightfold Path. Now you need to understand that the Eightfold Path was originally intended for the bhikkhus, monks like myself and nuns, people who would devote their entire lives to the pursuit of enlightenment. One must hold the right view, have the right intention, be careful of one's speech, of one's actions, pursue the right livelihood, make the right kind of effort, maintain right mindfulness, and do the right kind of concentration. Finally, everyone is bound to some ethical obligations, some of which apply to all Buddhists, some to monks and lay people on special occasions, and some that apply to monks only. These are the five, eight, and ten precepts. The five precepts apply to all Buddhists, both monks and lay people. 
Number one is do not harm any living being. This is the very important principle of Ahimsa. Number two, always tell the truth. Do not deceive people, not even unintentionally if you can help it. Number three, do not engage in illicit sexual activity. For lay people, this would mean marital fidelity. Four, do not steal. And five, do not take alcohol or any other intoxicants. Now, the eight precepts apply to monks and lay people on special days. Number six, don't decorate yourself. Number seven, do not attend amusements like the theater or movies. Number eight, eat moderately and only before noon. The last two precepts, which make up the ten, apply only to monks. Do not sleep on high or wide beds. And ten, do not touch gold, silver, or money. Well, thank you for viewing our little video. Once again, I'm Bhikkhu Ananda, and it has been my honor to tell you just a little bit about Buddhism. Please enjoy the rest of the website. Goodbye.